Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and I'm back again with another tutorial. I wanted to give you guys some nail inspo because when it comes to fall nails, I get it. We can't choose one design. So I'm going to be explaining step by step every single thing that I do to my nails from cuticle care, nail prep, nail application to nail design and then aftercare so it's just gonna be a lot of information but thankfully it's three nail designs so i can just talk to you guys more and explain more what i do to my nails because sometimes i miss a lot of steps and information when i'm doing just one nail design for you guys so yeah if you guys enjoy these types of videos please comment down below and leave a like and subscribe yeah there's gonna be a lot of fall content that I'm getting ready for. I'm also dyeing my hair soon. So that's gonna be in my next video. I'm dyeing my hair to copper brown, copper brown. And I'm gonna be doing that all at home. So stay tuned if you wanna see that. Without further ado, let's get into the video and hope you guys enjoy the tutorials. I currently have this set on that I did on my YouTube shorts so if you guys want to see the short tutorial for that then go check out my shorts but I'm gonna be removing them with the one kill remover oil the reason that I'm able to remove them so easily is because I use a peel-off base coat underneath all of my nail extensions just to protect my natural nail because I do a lot of nail tutorials and I switch up my nail a lot so it's just to protect my natural nail. After removing my old extensions, I'm going to go in with rubbing alcohol and sanitize and clean up all that's left on my natural nail plate. The buffing and sanitizing is all a part of the process of applying nails, so you guys can do that as well if you're just starting with your natural nails. Using cuticle remover is really a personal choice. I just like to use them because it just makes the whole process easier and it makes it easier to push back my cuticles as well. So they sell them in dollar stores and honestly everywhere so you don't need to use the exact same cuticle remover that i'm using in this video there's a ton of good cuticle removers on amazon as well so please go check that out when you're using a cuticle pusher try to hold it as horizontal as possible to your nail plate because if you're holding it at a really steep angle you can end up damaging your natural nails This is one of my favorite parts about doing cuticle care because it's just so satisfying to see all of that dead skin around my cuticle just come off. I'm going in with my lint pad and alcohol again just to sanitize and clean up around my cuticle. In my experience, I never needed a dehydrator because I just used rubbing alcohol to remove all of the oil off of my nails, but since I already have a dehydrator from Modelones, I'm going to be using that to remove the oil and go in with peel-off base coat. Again, this is completely optional. I use a peel-off base coat to protect my natural nail, but if you guys want your nails to last four weeks or over four weeks then i really recommend going in with nail glue instead of peel off base coat after you've chosen the right sizes for your extensions i go in with my e-file and again you can do this step with a nail buffer or a nail file you can use anything to etch the inside of the extension. This process 
makes your nails last so much longer than if you skip this step, so this is really important. Don't worry if you feel like you're applying too much glue on the extension, you can always go and clean up later. But make sure that you do this slowly and make sure that there are no bubbles because if there are bubbles your nails won't last as long because it starts to lift or pop so be careful that you don't create any bubbles inside of your extensions all the products that I use in this video including this lamp that I use to glue on my extensions are all listed on my Amazon storefront so go check it out it's in the description I recommend curing your hand for about 60 seconds at least to make sure that the glue has cured. If you guys have seen some of my other videos then you guys might know that I always use the overlay method and if you guys don't know what the overlay method is, to put it simply, it's basically how I apply my extensions is I leave a little bit of space um, from where I apply the extension and where my cuticle is. So technically what I'm doing now is blending in the extension in with my natural nails so they look all blended in together and smoothened out. I really love this overlay method because it makes my nails look natural and it doesn't make it look like extensions so please try it out if you've never tried it before. I promise you it does make your nails last longer as well. I'm going in with my nail clipper to make the shaping process of my extensions easier. I'm going for almond nails today. Now my nails are in perfect shape and ready for the design. I'm going in with my Beatles base coat and applying a thin layer of that. Make sure you go all the way back close to your cuticles but try not to touch your cuticles because you can develop gel X a nail allergy. I don't really know how it's called, but you can develop an allergy that will never be fixed. So please be careful when you're applying gel X nails. Don't go all around your cuticle. It can be really dangerous. One way you can definitely prevent getting an infection or an allergy is by using a cleaning up tool like I have and going around your cuticle before you cure it. And I've also heard of latex around your cuticles to protect them, so I'm sure they sell them on Amazon. I personally have never used them, so I can't really say much about them. But that's why I always on my channel tell you guys to really take care of your cuticles and go in depth with your cuticle care because a lot of people do cuticle care the wrong way and they cut themselves and hurt themselves and they open up their cuticle and you're more prone to get infections and funguses so just please do your research before you do anything on your cuticles, especially using a nipper. A lot of people use cuticle nippers without really knowing how to use them and that can go horribly wrong. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that on my video real quick. I forgot to explain what I'm doing, but I'm basically going in with this beautiful red color from Nail Reserve that I received. 
and I feel like you need two layers of this to really get that deep blood red color which I really want and I'm kind of freestyling you guys can really do whatever you want I feel like red is a very fall winter color so that's why I included this design in my video Since I want to do a Frenchy design and also one other design that's kind of a French, I'm going in with a nude base color and applying a thin layer of that and going all the way back. Again, try to smoothen out the bumps with that color. One question that I get a lot on my YouTube channel is how do you get better at doing French nails? And the key is if you look closely on what I'm doing, I'm kind of moving my finger as well as the brush to help myself reach the areas and corners that I struggle to reach with just my brush. So I kind of move around my finger a little bit to help myself with the brush. I feel like this Nail design is super simple but also very cute that you could add nail charms and diamonds to kind of elevate the design but just by itself is also cute so you guys can kind of freestyle with this one. I've seen a lot of similar designs just with different colors so I can use this template a lot with different colors so it's really cute. I love it. Now I'm going in with some top coat and this is really important. You should pay very close attention to each and every corner when you're doing the top coat because this is going to determine how your nails look at the end. So I really try to take my time with the top coat. I feel like this design can also be used for Christmas. If you add some pearls, I feel like it would be perfect for Christmas, but just by itself is also very cute. So comment down below if you guys like this first design and let's get into the second design. Since I've already shown you guys the nail application portion of this video, I'm not going to repeat myself again, but I'm just going to explain how I do the designs from now on. I got this next design from Pinterest and it kind of reminded me of latte makeup which also reminded me of fall. I'm just gonna call this next design latte nails. I'm going in with a thin layer of base coat and I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. To create the base, I'm going in with a pinkish nude color and I think I'm going to apply two layers of this. Now I'm going in with a vanilla white color from Nail Reserve and using a long thin brush like this. I'm gonna just do some freestyling swirls all around my nail. You guys can really just do anything. It's super fun to just swirl around. I do recommend getting a longer brush for this. You might think that having a long brush might be more difficult, but actually surprisingly, it's easier to use a long brush. So just try it out, trust me. For the next shade, I'm going in with a lighter brown color. That's kind of like a caramel color. And again, I'm just drawing swirls all around my nail.
I'm using the Color Cube palette from Modalons to look for a darker shade of brown. I'm being more intentional with this color by drawing a little bit more of a thin line along the white lines. And yeah, you guys can just see how I do them, but I try not to make it too thick. I wanted to redo my white lines a little bit more and make them more pigmented and thicker because I kind of wanted to look a little bit like an overlap. So I'm going in with the white again and doing that. Now I'm going in with my top coat and applying a thin layer on all of my nails. I feel like I could have done better with this design, but honestly this is the best that I could do. I'm not completely obsessed with this design, but I'm still proud of myself that I was able to do this. Comment down below if you guys like this design and let's move on to the last one. This last one I'm going to show you guys is probably my favorite because it reminds me of green tea nails. I've done a matcha nail design on my channel before but never like this. So I feel like it's perfect for autumn and yeah. I'm starting off with some pink nude base and curing that for 60 seconds. For the second layer, I'm using a white milky color just to kind of soften the tone of the pink and curing that for another 60 seconds. To create the Aura Nail design, I'm using eyeshadow, but you guys can also use anything that you have, like airbrushes and sponges, and yeah, there's a lot of methods out there on how to do um, a Aura Nail design, but I'm going to use my eyeshadow palette, and yeah, I'm just going to use a brush like this, and it's super easy, just kind of build up the color a little bit. Honestly, that only took me like a minute to do and it's such a cute design and I'm going already in with top coat. I can't believe how fast that took me, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with some top coat and add some little gold charms because I feel like gold really goes with this green. Once everything is placed in the right place, I'm gonna cure that for maybe a hundred seconds, a minute and a half because it's my last coat and this is how they turned out. I love them. I'm so obsessed with this nail design. It's probably one of my favorites. Don't forget to moisturize after doing your nails and put some cuticle oil on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below which one was your favorite design. You guys can also give me suggestions on what to do next. So stay tuned for more video and thank you for watching.